Welcome to another episode of Galaxy Gardens. My name is Chrissy and today I have to be a little bit quiet because we just brought in some new additions to our household and I'd love to tell you about them today as well as we got a new chicken coop and a new chicken run so everyone's getting an upgrade so let's go check it out. We picked up some more chickens. We have three Easter eggers and three starlight green eggers. And we are thrilled. We don't know what we're gonna name them yet, but we got a new coop and a new chicken run. So we're gonna be so set for eggs so soon. Welcome back. This is the next day. We're going to start building the coop. There's a lot of things here and it's super hazy and it smells like a campfire outside. And there was just a plume of smoke that fell from the sky. So I don't know what that's about, but let's uh, show you what we're working with. Oh, shouldn't be too hard to put together. Okay. All right, we're getting there, so check this out. I think that looks pretty good. I'm so excited for this. So you can see already it's huge. It's probably about as big as our other one, but it's all in inside coop space. So let me give you a close up. Also, just FYI, don't do this after work. We, we work pretty regular Monday through Friday hours. Just do it on a weekend. So we have our roosting bars that are very high which is great and it's already as long as the other one that we have so it'll accommodate more birds and high roof ventilation when we had six chickens they only used one nesting box so I think with 10 we'll be okay but it's so cute so we will uh, finish this up and we'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. All right, we're all set. I forgot my tripod, but I'm gonna show you a 360 of this. And then I'm going inside because it's disgusting out here. Probably should have wear a mask or something, but I don't feel great and we need to have dinner. So let me show you this. And then another day we'll come back and we gotta build our new run. Check this baby out. Look at that. Uh, if I was a better video editor, I could probably put some music here. Let me just get my audio. Look at that. It's so cute. It kind of looks like a uh, dollhouse, but it's not. One thing I like about it on both sides are these vents. You can't see the other one, but close that up. Got a little door. We're probably gonna put it up on cinder blocks, but this is my favorite feature. Check that out. Oh my God, so much access. So much access. Two nesting boxes, huge door to clean it out. High roosting bars, at least a foot, foot and a half off of the floor. I'll have to get my tape measure, but. It's not awesome. 
I can fit so many chickens in this thing. So many chickens. There's, you can probably see some light poking through. There's a couple of areas. I'll probably put some putty on for better insulation, but man, I'm really excited for this thing. Normally it is not recommended to have poultry in the house because they have bacteria, they can have mystery illnesses, especially if we got them from a box store. Think that what you may, it's what we have accessible to us. But, I mean, we don't have any children. Um, we don't let the cats in here and they're in a contained area, so we're okay with it. They're not gonna stay here for very long uh, once we get our coop and run set up. Uh, which you already saw the coop, that's all set. Uh, we're probably gonna get to the run in another couple days. Um, they'll be uh, transitioned out, you know, by the time they're big enough and too big for this current container they're in um, to go outside. And then when it's been warm enough outside, they'll be very comfortable in about, I don't know, another two to three weeks. Last time we uh, got pullets, um, from when we got them to when they were ready to go outside, it was far enough outside. They had enough of their, um, I guess adult feathers came in that they could go outside in about four weeks. So we're just gonna keep them comfortable in the meanwhile and hopefully they chill out a bit. When they're adults, they definitely will, but I'm hoping right now they chill out. To share a little bit more about what they're in right now, this is actually the lid to the new coop. Now, when they uh, are under a week old, um, it's actually better for them to be on uh, wood shavings so they can strengthen their legs. We're in week two of their life. They've only been with us for a couple days. I got these pee pads for right now. By next week, we're gonna be transitioning back, them back to um, wood shavings. We're gonna do pine shavings. We did that last time, it worked great. This is just um, something we got in a pinch um, until we can get to the feed store probably tomorrow. Over here, this is our brooder plate. This is more fire safe uh, than using a light bulb. We did use a light bulb with a red light so they wouldn't peck each other. Um, found that to not be an issue, so we got this. And two years later, it still works. We have our chick feed and then the water. Uh, we're not gonna give this to them every day and not for a long time, um, but in this right now is a mix of a probiotic and electrolyte. Um, just to give them an extra boost because they're in a new house and have to get used to a new environment. So that's the word on the chicks for right now. They're very cute. I watch them on a camera all day. Um, I have not figured out how to make a recording from that camera because um, it's just a webcam. They actually do have a video camera. I could probably set that up. We'll see if I figure it out, I'll put it in the video. Otherwise, um, we got some other stuff for you to check out. So let's go. All right, we're back and we're building our run, which is super easy to do. We just snap everything together. So this is a nine by 19 run and it's metal, which is pretty tight, it's steel. So let's get this together and we'll come back. We finished building the frame it's so great. It's really hard to build a door, apparently. Well, we figured it out. All together, it took us about two hours to put this together, and tomorrow we'll come back and put our chicken wire all around it. To give you a frame of reference for the height, I believe it's like six or six and a half feet tall. This coop is about four feet three inches tall. That's including a little feet at the bottom. So we're gonna figure out where we'll put the coop. I think it makes sense to put it in the middle, but we could also fit it in the back. Like I said, the dimensions of this are 19 feet long, 
by nine feet wide and that'll work. Now there are gaps in the door. So what we're gonna do is recycle the hardware mesh to kind of beef up the edges of the door after we get everything from the kit on. So that's it. We just gotta put everything around the outside, including a tarp to go on that back third section to put it in the shade. We'll be good to go. As we go around the back of this, you'll see it's actually in line with the fruit trees, which is great. And of course, our uh, Franken fence strawberry patch, which was shifted over because we have to accommodate for an underground electric line. But it's perfect because we can't fit any more trees here because it gets too shady for them. But that'd be great for the chickens. Really, really nice. I really like this door too because it's metal. I don't know if we'll fit the wheelbarrow in it, but I like this feature open and shut. Pretty nice in this coop. It's gonna be such an upgrade for the ladies. So hopefully we can move them in tomorrow. I also wanted to show you this absolute monster uh, pumpkin area. <laughs> it's growing in our compost. I figured, oh, let's see what happens. So hopefully we get a pumpkin. This week we're mostly focused on our chickens, but next week we will do a garden tour. I just have a lot to mow and weed whack right now. It's, it's a mess. It's been raining on and off since like May and also being like smoky. So a lot of things have grown in, but we'll get to it. Well, there it is. Got the girls in there. Greg, do you have any uh, words about the build? No, it wasn't too hard. It's kind of a pain putting all the uh, chicken wire on it, but really took like a couple hours, not too bad. I think it looks nice. So we'll see if the girls explore the new coop. I might as well just have to put them in there tonight so they can get used to it. I think it's safe to say that the girls like the new run. It's a little bit more open than the other ones, so they might have a little bit of a tough time adjusting just to having a more 360 view of the yard instead of less, which, you know, is more secure for them. But uh, another thing we're going to add in here that we haven't done just yet is we're going to put some sand underneath the coop and we're going to put it up on pavers just to help with moisture wicking and add in some more sand here so the ladies can dust bathe because uh, obviously this is all grass right now. It'll probably go away in about a month as they scratch through everything, but it's looking pretty good. I appreciate you hanging out with us today, seeing the babies, seeing our new coop and run. It's definitely an upgrade from what we had before and we're gonna be really happy to take out that old run. Would have been fine if we didn't have vines going over the whole top, but it's just gotten out of control. So we needed to do something about it. But chickens seem happy, I'm happy, and our project is done. Making fast work of taking this down. You can see all these vines, absolutely terrible. See, just secret right there. I've been waiting to do this for a very long time. It'll be nice when it's out. I don't think we collected the eggs today either, so we're gonna have to snag that. But definitely much easier to take it down than it was to put up. We'll see you next time with a garden tour for July. Now that things are getting a little bit more cleaned up in our yard. I have to stake up my tomatoes again, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. But I'll give you a garden tour. Our cabbages are finally getting ready to pick. So I'm really excited for that. And we have a bunch of mulch we need to put out, but probably not gonna start doing that just yet. 
Hope you have a good day, week, night, wherever you're at right now, and we'll see you next time.